Hey guys, today we have this Canon PIXMA TS3522 printer and we're going to go over this operation control panel uh, all these buttons here I was able to find a link from Canon um, with the information on uh, like basically it describes everything here I'm going to post the link below in the description and it says which button is what and what it does so uh, let's go over that together so you can have a better idea of your printer in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll get right to it. So this is a very good uh, compact printer. It's very inexpensive, and uh, it has a dual ink cartridge system. It's a TS3520 series printer. There's other printer models that are similar to it. I'm going to also post those models in the um, description below. So let's start with this, uh, with the top, and we're just going to go down. So, of course, the main uh, button right here for the printer to start working is the power button. That's uh, something you're going to press in order to turn your printer on. So whenever you have your cord connected to the wall and to the printer, you're going to go ahead and press the power button. And then if you want your printer to turn off, you're going to press the power button and uh, turn off the printer that way. And we're just going to go by the list that we have and uh, everything here. So we'll go over buttons and the lights and the screen all together. So right next to the power button, we have this LED indicator that the power is on. So it's um, then uh, what we have here is the wireless button. And that's basically to, it's going to help you to connect to your phone or your computer uh, through the wireless network. Also, this button allows you to turn off, um, to, to, uh, like enable or disable your wireless connectivity, and also to switch between devices. Also, like if you're using, you can see this one right here. It's kind of a new thing with uh, Canon. This power, but uh, this button right here is kind of new. Usually, we just have this wireless uh, icon. Now we have this device kind of thing. Um, so that's if you have, for example, if you have this printer connected to different. Uh, devices your phone and your tablet for example and you're gonna switch that to just uh, uh, switch from one device to the other okay then we have this kind of a link button right here it's not new on uh, Canon printers they've had this button for a while for maybe in the past five six years of production of their printers and it's mo on most printers that they have now especially the inkjet ones so it's the wireless connect button. You're going to use that when you're trying to connect to your device. So the device or your router finds your printer. So when you're trying to connect, you're going to press this. Then we have the I button, which is um, a global I, uh, icon for information. That's something that you're going to press in order to retrieve information about your printer. So as soon as you press that, you're going to have like network information print out. Uh, of course, the screen is not big enough to display everything on this printer, as you can see here. So as soon as, when you press this information button, that's basically, uh, it's going to give you information about your connection, like if you're, uh, like what's wrong with your connection or if everything is good. So that's the I button right here. So this right here is a setup button. Uh, you can press it a few times. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I've never done this before directly from this printer. So basically it gives you the opportunity to choose um, which and uh, which setting to choose. And I'm not sure what, what exactly the, which no, each number corresponds to. So I'll dig deeper into that and let you know. But this is the setup button right here. Um, I'll look more into how to exactly use this. I, like I said, I've never used it before. So let's just keep going with uh, our LED lights right here. First, we have this air code right here or air LED light if we have some air. So air or alarms is going to be this right here, the one that's not lit up. So it's right next to this triangle right here. Then we have the black ink indicator. Um, and the color ink indicator. So those are going to flash when your ink cartridges are low. It, they're just going to be lit up if you don't have any ink cartridges or if they're bad. Um, so for each uh, cartridge, or if you have them in different, for example, you have the black and the color, which is not really easy to put. They're kind of like, usually the color ink cartridge will not fit into the black, but 
that may happen with an aftermarketing cartridge. Okay, and going on, we have our display right here, of course. It's not very big, but um, it's enough for a printer like this here. And most of the times you're going to get all your messages on your screens, for example, on your phone or on your uh, tablet or your uh, computer. Going back to this uh, air light again, the LED light, there is also a sequence of the flashing that will correspond to a certain air that you have. And also it'll, it should display like E1 or E4 and that'll tell you which air there is. So that's something to look into a different um, reference. Okay, so uh, once again, the screen, it's just gonna dis display the amount of copies. When you're gonna press the start button for a black or colored copy, you're gonna press as many, like for example, if you want five copies, you're gonna press a few times and it'll show it here. So we'll get to that later. But it displays that, the maintenance code or error code, and, and it has various icons right here. For example, the Wi-Fi connection status, and also the air, I mean, not the air, the uh, paper selection that we have in our paper tray. And um, talking about paper, we're going to go to this button right here. This is a paper button, and that basically lets you set the printer paper um, in your tray to the proper setting. So right now we have it at letter, which is going to be the default setting. And if you need to change it to something else, you can do that by pressing this button over here and then selecting OK. I'm just going to demonstrate quickly how to do that. So talking about the paper right there in our tray. So you can see we have the letter uh, paper here. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and press this button and you can see how it it changes so it's at letter a4 b5 size um, legal I believe and then th there's a whole bunch of different sizes in millimeters and centimeters and we have the a5 kg um, so that's like a 4x6 uh, photo print uh, photo paper uh, legal size paper right here so that kind of gives you the idea of different types of paper so the good thing it can print on legal paper and something we found out right now and when you're done you're just going to press ok to select that paper size and um, go into the stop button right here of course it's a cancel button if you have a job printing or the printer is just shooting out a whole bunch of paper something is wrong definitely with communication of your device with the printer you can just stop it here and make sure you stop it on your uh, device so it doesn't send a printer like that or if you have for example a photo printing and you don't want it to go through and waste the ink on that photo so you just go ahead and press cancel and it'll stop that um, if you sent for example five copies and you decided you only need one in the middle of it you can just press the stop button to cancel it so simple as that and then going back uh, going all the way down to these here these are our copy selection so if I'm doing uh, four black copies how I do it is I'm just going to press the button, the black copy button four times, two, three, four, and that sends uh, four copies of whatever I have in here is going to send it to the printer. I'm going to cancel that out because I don't need those copies. It was just something I wanted to demonstrate and show you how the cancel button works. Same thing if you need a color copy, um, you're going to press, for example, if you need two copies here, you're just going to press twice you'll see the two and then it'll start flashing and going into um, copy mode and it'll just make your copies. Something that always uh, I get a question about with the dual cartridge system or five for example cartridges um, if you're doing a, a whole bunch of just black and white copies or black and white prints why do I need the color cartridge? Well it's the way that the printers are built so you have to have on um, for example on this Canon I believe you have to have both cartridges in order for this printer to work to do anything at all even scans on some other models you will find that a color cartridge could be used to print all colors uh, and including a black and uh, like HP will allow you to do that so two color copies you can see it's flash and starting the job I'm gonna cancel that so that's pretty much uh, our operation panel is what it, what Canon calls it. That's how it works, and uh, that's the buttons on it. I'm gonna send the link 
I'm, I'm going to post the link in the description below so you have a better idea. You can go over it as well. But I'm hoping that this video was pretty clear and uh, easy to understand. So if it was, please don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and have a wonderful day.